Hey everyone, this is a walkthrough on the Market Insights tool for Shopify. And then I'm going to go over all the features, all the settings, teach you how to use all of this. So starting from the left side menu, you have all the tools here. And then you click here on the first and then you can change your marketplace because Zik Analytics has plan for eBay and Shopify. So you just have to make sure that you're in the plan for Shopify and every plan is different subscription. So if you subscribe for eBay, you will not have access to Shopify. You will need to upgrade to Shopify. And the same thing goes to Shopify. If you have access to Shopify and you want to access to eBay, you also have to have a subscription plan for it. Then the second thing to do is make sure that the seller settings set are set correctly. And then the marketplace is Shopify and then you can click here and you can use different source website. I'm using Aliexpress. The item finder will find products via image search technology. And the same thing goes to if you choose another source website like Alibaba. So for this example, I'm going to leave on Aliexpress. So let's go over what each section does. So starting with trending Shopify stores. So here you get the trending Shopify stores in the last 30 days. We update this list every day, every 24 hours based on the selling performance of the store. So here you can see the seller, the seller name, and then here the, you will see the icon to see if this uh, seller is a drop shipper or a single product store or print on demand. Single stores are stores that sell only one product. And then you have the sales in the last 30 days and the amount of revenue generated in 30 days. And then this detective icon will automatically analyze this store for you on our competitor sales tracker tool. So let me show you how it works. So let's click here, for example, and it will automatically open this, all the stats of this store. Here you can see the revenue, the sales, the amount of products in this store, the social channels, the ads channels, the store creation date, when it was created, right? And then the store apps. And also you can save the store to favorites. And here you scroll down, here are the top selling products. Now I'm not going to dive deep into the sales tracker because there's another tutorial just on that. Okay. So let's get back here, moving here to the training product section. So these are products that are trending in the last 30 days. Also, this list is updated every 24 hours. You can see the image, the title, and once you click the title, it will open this product on Shopify store like this, as you can see. And then you have again the detective icon here It analyzes, takes the store to the sales tracker tool. And here you can see the most sales, the price of this product and the revenue from the last 30 days. And then you have the item finder, the letter icon of the supplier, and this will find this exact or similar product on the supplier's page, in this case, Aliexpress. And the last section is the upcoming events, is the e-commerce calendar. So the e-commerce calendar basically will give you all the upcoming holidays and seasons that are good opportunities for the e-commerce business. It will give you recommendations for each important date. So for example, as you can see the next holiday, it's this one, and then it's going to give you the trending keywords for this specific holiday. And then you click in any of these trending keywords and then it's going to open this keyword in the product explorer tool and then you see here the keywords you see the the products and again uh, i'm not going to go deep here in the product explorer tool now because there's another tutorial just about this tool right all right this is it this is the market insights tools for shopify and if you have any questions, please contact the customer support and have a beautiful day.